Hey all you story fanatics, so get this. In our last adventure, we found an oops, an object of power in the form of a floppy disk. And so when we got this, we got telekinetic powers as a result. So now we can throw things at our enemies and now we're fighting Thomasy, a member from the Bureau controlled by the Hiss. All right, now that you're caught up, let's get on with the show. Welcome back to PJ 8-Bit, where we play through games and talk about the deeper story within. My name's James. This is Peyton. Hello, everybody. And we beat Tomnus. We finally beat him. Uh, we're moving along here. Um, there's a, still so many questions to get, needs to get answered here. Like, we, we don't know. We have Jesse and her brother. Her brother got taken by the Bureau. And there's like some weird her talking back and forth with the brother. And we don't know what's going on there. There's a director gun that she's holding. There's so much stuff. I cannot wait to get more into this game. How about you, Peyton? Oh, I'm excited too. Heck yeah. And we lowered the difficulty so I won't yeah. scream at the computer for an hour. I'm going to be honest Sound with you good? guys. We we don't we we're we don't want to play this game for the highest difficulty setting. That's not why we're here. We want to get at the deeper stories um concepts within the games. So, I hope you'll bear with us with the fact that we're not like playing at the higher difficulties. We just we, we could be doing this all day, and we, we just don't yeah. want to. We want to get to the point. What's the point of the game? There's a lot of cool ideas. Um, I'm excited, though. I'm really fucking excited. I'm so glad to be done that part. Okay, so this is the hotline. Okay. Room. Yeah. But this. Wait, oh, sorry. Right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of an altered item to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? What the fuck, man? <laughs> well, what? Like, you just start going on your own tangent, man. Like, I... So are they talking about the hiss? Like, it kills your fucking eardrum? I'm about to ask you, what are they... Tomasi, head of comms. Again, we're... The we're... hiss got him. The hiss got him, yeah. They're, they're focusing on this idea of how vibration in the air, so sound, is kind of affecting, like, biology. Yeah. And changing, like, matter and stuff. Like, mind control, and apparently cellular division, like... Payton, what do you think is going on in this game so far? You gave me a lot of cool explanations off camera. Um... I think that... To be honest, I'm reading. What, do you hear that? That's yeah, like, I hear that too. I don't know what it is. Is that in here? The hotline chamber? The Maybe. hotline can't be far I now. don't like hissy things. It does. Sorry, it's it's just really creepy, and we've got headphones on, and you can really hear it. Yep. And it just like goes down your spine like a. Oh, out! That would hurt your nose. I wanted to do the, the emergency police box, but. Ooh. Oh. There's a phone ringing. Is this the director? Okay, we gotta read these because these are important to understanding. I, I think so too. What the ever loving fuck this game is. I don't want to go answer the phone. Not yet. Please. Ooh, hotline security log. log. We have a log now. Down there? Maybe hotline chamber. Yep, down there. Okay, this this kind of like Okay, you're really impatient, one sec. What? Wow. Have we been here before? Wait. What? Sorry. No. I didn't get what was going on there. 
I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country. What? On the road, on the run, under the radar. Did you just go through the hotline cords like of phones to different places? All of them, like something recognized from a dream. What? Freaking drug trip, man. Yeah. But why? Oh my god, the music. Look at the old, like, Coke tape machine. I love it. The vending machine. Yeah. Hello? Anyone here? Hello, ding ding. I'm just confused. Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we in like a hotel that hasn't been updated since the 50s? It's like we just went through time. You think we went through time? Also, who would install a black light in this kind of place? Maybe not. I don't, I don't know what the hell is happening here. I love the... Oh, I love the environment and stuff, but like, what is going on here? I don't know. I'm looking. I'm trying things. I had like a, some idea of, okay, I think we know the, sort of what's going on. There's like a Beyond Two and Souls And then this kind happened. Of. <laughs> the, yeah, well, we talked about Beyond Two Souls. Yeah. If you guys haven't played that game, it has uh, Elliot Page in it, and it's like um, this person who's tethered to their, their sibling. Um, and they can kind of talk back and forth and it just reminded us so much of her connection with her brother What we assume is her brother Dylan. It also does get ding ding Well, yeah, there's definitely that that feeling going on, but I feel like Whatever's going on here is either Jess's fault mm -hmm. or it's her brother's fault most likely her brother's fault Yeah, like there's some kind of world dis world uh big bad world event happening in wherever we are in this dimension yeah. that she kind of because the hiss only gets people that are well it's everybody but jess and her brother right yeah i think well it's because i th i think that it only the only two people that have not been affected by the hiss are the ones wearing those hr um a vest yeah or Jess. So that's kind of weird. Like, what is this hiss, man? What the hell is it? The other thing that's weird is the guy that invented those jackets, he did so before the hiss was a thing. Yeah, that's right. I forgot like, about that. Did he have inside knowledge? I don't know. What? Okay, where am I supposed to go here? I don't know. I know. I'm getting confused too. First, the Oceanside Motel. Like, I, I'm, I'm a little over the groovy music right now. Do I have to change the light again? Whoa. Yes. Stand. Okay, that is death. I was like, this is either death or I have oh. to go get the phone. Oh, it that, was death. Was, that was horrible. It was death. <laughs> I found death. Okay, the theory you told me, because I know, because we haven't talked about it yet, was that you think that the Federal Bureau of Control was to keep altered objects and things from other dimensions out of this dimension, of the normal dimension, right? It was like this weird underground. It's like a place trying to keep that stuff hidden from the public. Oh no, do you have to beat yeah. on this again? Our oh no, it just says Traverse the Ocean View Motel. No, it says, look, you're, you're. Oh, I'm freaking out about nothing. Your to-dos are still fine. You're okay. okay. Don't worry about it. Just walk past him. No, he's gonna piss me off. Okay, fine. <laughs> he's like, holy shit! Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Give me those life force beads. Oh, I don't need them. <laughs> I'm used to sucking the hind tit. That's why. Yeah, we, we took down, we took down the damage ratio, guys, because, like, I found, like, if someone hits you, like, once, you lost, like, half your health. It's, it was just kind of... Ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know. We're not speedrunners. Neither of us. No. We're here for the story, man. We're here for the underlying theme. stuff again. Do I? 
I guess press the button. No, I don't. Okay, it's collected. Okay, so it kept all that. Kind oh, of it does stuff. save it. Okay. Okay. Oh, so can I listen to his speech again? Yeah. I accidentally absolutely. cut it off. Yeah. Go for it, man. I want to get. I want to get to the bottom of this. This is like a really good Marvel TV show. House memory. Okay. Oh, like, okay. I get it. I get it. Can I use? Hello? Okay, Seriously, not. though, Peyton, you should talk about the stuff you told me Sorry. because you got some really cool ideas. Um, yeah, like, I think the Federal Bureau of Control, I think it's trying to do that with supernatural objects. Like, basically control. Like, keeping them out of the world? Yeah, keeping them out of the world, keeping yeah. them out of civilians' hands, right? Um, and couple things that it reminded me of was actually now that I think about it, it reminds me a little bit of like the Harry Potter universe with what they do um keeping wizardry out yeah keeping wizardry out hmm so now okay so I can't go through there I have to pull the light switch like what's this can you go back where does that go Now I can't hear the ring ring anymore. Or does it not? I'm change? still hearing the ring. You're not hearing the ring? Yeah, but no, I, that wasn't what. That I don't, would, that I don't know. Work. That sent me backwards. What? That's really weird. Pretty so it didn't really change anything. It just changed colors. Yeah. They said Wait a minute. No, it shows you. It shows you the hotel. Look, straight ahead. Oh. Now you're in the hotel, I'm assuming. Because see how your uh, outside's blue? Have we been here before? Or not? I don't know what just happened. I'm confused. No. Hated a lot of roadside motels across so the country. On the road, on the run, under the radar. I don't know. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Okay, is there a key? Is there a anything behind this desk? I don't know. Can you use your powers to do anything? I can't even actually use my powers. Oh wow, that's interesting. Hello? So you're you're definitely in a, a different dimension then. That's what I feel like I'm in, yeah. Like I feel like I'm in some sort of Are we in purgatory? Loop or something. Are, are yeah. we in goddamn pig, pur, purgatory? Pig purgatory. Purgatory. Sh purgatory? Excuse yeah, me? Purgatory. <laughs> Where do the porks go? The porks. <laughs> the porks from Star Wars, they all go to this They all go to the same that's place. That's where they it's where they go to almost die. Like is there a <laughs> There's only one room open. There's nothing in that room at all, eh? No. I feel like I'm actually going insane. Like, da, 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 da. this is hell for me. Found it. <laughs> yeah, this is hell. What the hell? What? That music. I'm so confused. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, jeez, Peyton. I'm sorry, I know um, you don't like your Latin. I'm sorry. It just that's it. That's my undoing right there is This game is designed to fuck you. One up. note samba playing on repeat in some trashy hotel that I can't do anything in, and then when I ding the ding, they don't come. Because there is nobody here. How do you use your brain? Your brainy brain. Your brain I, I found it. I found hell. This is something. This is this is hundred percent something Crowley would make. Just look it up. No one likes waiting in line. This is hell. This yeah, found it. Hell's a waiting room right here. Yeah. But why? You can't use the janitor. The janitor. Open that door. I no. tried, man. I had a fit. I was like, it says janitor there. Remember that creepy janitor that was like, yeah. I have a feeling you're going to get hired today. It's like, yeah, you're right. I did. I became this director of this asinine situation. Lucky me. Traverse the Ocean View Motel. To me, that sounds like explore or go through it to get somewhere else. Something's going on. So when you go and you do your little clicky click thing, the lights change. What does that mean? We still don't really know. 
Right? Okay, you changed. So does that open that door up? No? Because that lit up the door. I that know. was very strange. Anything different at all? Anywhere? Because something is... Because you changed the, the light colors. The lights down this hallway change color. Okay. Turn your left. That door's closed. A different door is open. What? Am I crazy? Am I falling for what you fell for before? I think so. It's the exact same room. But if they move it up, they move it up a... They move it up a thing? Yeah, I guess. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Why? What? I hate everything this, this about game, this game. This except game. Except it's cool as fuck. It reminds me of like Harry Potter shit and X Men. And I just, but the everything else, I want to. Yeah. I oh. want to change. It just. It's funny how we got out of a big fight that was getting very frustrating, and now we're in this situation that's also now frustrating. Cause there's no information. Maybe you need to read the stuff that you're picking up. Maybe that's part of the problem. Event summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Okay. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house days later, found in a sealed room uh, by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident. What the hell? Okay, so, so you're not go. you're not in the old house anymore. You're in like the real world, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah. According to their testimony, the agents uh, have been transported from Butte home to a roadside motel named, named the Ocean View Motel okay, and Casino, Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual, see MOT01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error after pulling another metal cor motel cord found inside this room. They were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the homeowner and other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the blank and blank sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though exactly this link operates is blank, but initial hypothesis center on Butte Avenue as a blank. See Dr. Darling presentation for more. Okay, so... That's not Avenue. That's AWEs. Those are um, altered something So I events. need MO, MO201. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot to read, man. We got a lot of interesting stuff to read. I'm not seeing that. Cool, so I'm fucked also. also. <laughs> That's the spirit. What you doing? Bear with me first. Oh. Oh, oh, look at the desk. Desk. Oops. Hello? Key there you go. Pyramid on it. There we go. Okay. Inverted black pyramid. Let's go. I just had to read the damn memo. There's the black pyramid. What is this? What the fuck is that? What is that a picture of? Okay. A, 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 what is me? that, Peyton? Me. It's a picture of me. It is. Who took this without my permission? This is really creepy. This is actually really scary. Yeah. Whoa. What the hell? Alright. Pick up the hotline. Oh. It's this room. It was a picture of this room. So it's a painting of where to go. And this is what we're trying to get to. Remember what it showed? Yeah. Traverse through the, the hotel to get to here. So... Mm -hmm. 
Complete the astral plane challenge. Oh, you're gonna get more uh, powers, dude. I am okay with this part. I like this part. Me too. It's very pretty too. Are you okay, hey. Peyton? Okay. <laughs> are you okay, Peyton? Are you are you all right? I feel like every time we play this game, you're very frustrated with it. Oh, I'm fine. You okay? Uh, I just I it, it was because the game wanted us, like you said, to read the shit. So we read the shit. Suddenly, it worked. What the hell is that? I don't really know, so I'm gonna sh Okay, I can't. Um, I don't think you want to be near that thing. I don't think so either. I think the idea is to not go near the thing. Oh god, the hotline will follow you? The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I just want to get there, thanks. And not be <laughs> eaten in whatever oh my God. crazy fucking interdimensional Muppet that was just trying to eat me. <laughs> Muppet. Oh. This reminds me so much of Batman. This reminds me more of the Matrix with the, with the phone ringing. And you're like, remember when Neo was trying to like chase yes. the phone? Yes. Yeah. A lot of cool influences. But then the white also reminds me of the Matrix, like the third Matrix. Oh yeah. He's in the station. That's right. It's a phone. It's an object of power. Okay. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. That's really fucking cool. Holy that's shit. That's so cool. cool. A director needs a team. My management team. Trench. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Tomasi. Marshall especially, I'm, my head of operations. I'm sorry to tell you, but she sees right we killed me. Thomas. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Why does her nose bleed every but time? My, I can reach trench. Well, that she's in the astral plane. He feels more like an echo. I'm gonna tell you now. With important oh. info. I need to get back to Emily. Emily was the girl I think that would that was talking to you with the harness on and everything. People react yeah. strongly when I tell them about you. Okay. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Okay, you know what? I gotta mention one thing here. There's a lot of Matrix influences in this, and it makes a lot of sense. What was the point of the Matrix? What was the point of it? Uh, there, there was a lot of points. Okay, I'll get to the main one. Yes. The concept of does your life freedom, the concept of freedom, do you yes. run your own life, or is it set for you? Yes. Yes, right? that's, yes, that's the main and one. That relates to this quite a bit. Would you not agree? Yes. And the concept of the phone being the connection between the two worlds. That's so the matrix. Come on, bro. Executive board. What you doing now? Okay, I'm going the right way. I gotta go speak to Emily about this shit. Is she really a good guy here? I don't know. We don't really know Jess's background at all. Like, we just know that she has a brother that she, she talks to. Yes. I feel like we came into the story of this area in this world during yeah. a big disaster. That it's exactly how it feels, yeah. I don't feel like it, this was how it was beforehand. No. Everyone's just fucked up by the hiss, and we're trying to figure out why, and 
Yeah. But also understand the nature of this room in this well, area. This was clearly a well-organized affair once upon a time ago, but now it's a friggin' disaster zone. But why the... <laughs> it reminds me of what? what's in the Loki TV show? What's it called? The... The time... The TVA. The TVA. The time... Variance yeah, authority. The, that's what I mean. It's just these, they seem to have purpose. They're like, because oh. time variance authority in that was Reminder, about, oh, sorry. If you experience an unanticipated oh, okay, yeah, we've, we've listened to that. Fuck that <laughs> coffee <laughs> cart. But do you see what I mean? It's like this coffee, really yeah. weird, like, Cold War era. Yeah, man. Tell me about the Cold War. I don't know much. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know much about the Cold War and like really what was going on 100%. Like I have, obviously have a background idea, but you definitely know more than I do. Executive. That's what we want. Central executive. Yeah. Like what's the Cold War influences you're getting at here? Like the 1950s, 1960s era. Okay. Um, like look at the Technology desks. Technology? Desks. Okay. Look at the desks. Look at the colors. Yeah. Yeah, like, because from the 50s to the 70s, the states had a real distrust of anything or anyone associated with uh, communism. Yep. Executive boardroom. Boardroom, here we go. Um, so, but... Anyway, it, it was just supposed to, like, encapsulate that, like, 50s to 70s kind of era, but... Like, look, like, I mean, like, look at the carpets and, like, the design. And then there's other but, parts of it that look incredibly modern and cold. It's very odd. It's a very odd situation. It's a very odd balance. And it's called the oldest house. Like, it's it's very strange. It's not even that old. 50s, 60s is not that far off. To be called no. the oldest house. It's kind of a weird thing. Also... Jesse, did you get oh. the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. Yeah. Emily? Thank you. Let's talk. Of course. Okay, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk, bitch. I got the hotline. Okay. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Whoa. Salvador? He's the head of security. Okay. And Marshall, He's probably done too, because all the security Helen guards are Marshall affected by the hiss. Specifically, She's tough ex CIA. She took her Rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests. Uh-oh. I don't know. She might find out about you. See? There's but Dylan. I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Is it Dylan okay. or is it us? If you think it will help. Two souls Great. joined? Is that what you're yeah. trying to get at? Okay, okay. okay. Because we're showing her the way. We need we're to pushing her character in the story and forward. Marshall. Yep. Oops. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. But yeah, this, this is very Beyond Two Souls so far. Beyond Two Souls and the Matrix had a baby. Yes, the aesthetic of the Matrix, but like... I'd say the ideas of the Matrix with the aesthetic of Captain America. Yeah. Second movie. And the Beyond... With the story of Beyond Two Souls as well. Like a weird combo. What the fuck? What's with the janitor, man? He's just what mopping. Is this guy's deal? I don't know. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, he's having a great time mopping, apparently. That, he's a very serious mopper, man. Department of Maintenance. It's like these departments aren't departments. They're more like totems for existence. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
It's got a Stranger thing, Stranger Things yeah, vibe to it too. Definitely but like dimensional concepts earlier. for sure. Like yeah. it, not eighties. Like it's definitely mm -hmm. earlier than that. What in the hell? I think everything's fucked. Like I don't know what we're supposed to do here, but everything looks fucked. Everyone looks fucked. This is starting to feel too like like you know how Doctor Strange has a very interdimensional kind of villain in the at least in the movie, the comics too somewhere. This is almost seeming like that's what the hiss is. Is like that weird. What was he called in the in the movie? Hi, no. Jesse. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you can talk to her about lots of stuff. Oh. Okay. This already though. Okay. Never mind. Thanks, Emily. Well, what was the guy's I'm name sure I'll have in Doctor Strange the movie? Just let me know. The big villain that he puts him in a loop. Oh. Marmaduke um, or something like that. Yeah. Marmaduke. I'm not Marmaduke. That's the dog. <laughs> That's the what, sir? That's the dog. That's the dog. Marmaduke okay. is a talking dog. You hear that? Okay, well, Someone's what was his name? Where is it coming from? Uh, Dormammu. Dormammu, thank you. Marmaduke. Stay <laughs> here with your Marmaduke. I'm trying, man. Okay, but oh the god. point. Oh my god, Peyton, you're. Oh, executive, central executive. Peyton. Okay, so the hiss, isn't it remind you of him though? Is that kind of being? It's not like a, a more of a physical form villain. It's more like a, a just a thing, yeah. It definitely reminds me of something from a Doctor Strange or Thor comic, that's for sure. Like this just it's coming from the elevator. This is the damn This is the the janitor. This is the damn janitor. What? What? I know, what? but Janitor just sounded like fucking Dracula right there. Meet me and the mate and the ants. It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> not with that voice. Not with that inflection. Well, he might be just a nice guy before. just inviting you to the maintenance area. The janitor is a friendly face. See, he's a nice guy. Oh, God. He's, what's, what's, the, what's with you the think dread? This is nice? What's with the dread around him, though? Look at him. He's just got his Walkman going. He's fine. Imagine if you just listen to like something from He's like cool. Guardians. He's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's murdering people and putting them in the basement. He's just he dude. He, <laughs> he we don't know anything. He's just cleaning the floor. The music's just making you feel a certain way. You know, it's just he's just nice. Why? Tone. Why would the music need to make me feel the a certain way? Because he's a friendly dude. dude. I don't if think I so. He's here. your friendly neighborhood janitor. He can help me reach the override. He's gonna be my Maybe friendly neighborhood serial killer, probably. Maybe it was Ati. Maybe what was Ati? What'd you say? like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Oh, he's got uh, some control that we don't know. Me too? I guess oh, okay. when you're talking about the concept of a building being supernatural and an entity of someone in the maintenance of that building which should have, should have supernatural abilities as well, that kind of makes sense. Like hiding these supernatural roles in like the the norm roles of a basic societal basic institution. Job, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that. It makes you have to think a little bit harder. It's not letting me in anywhere. No, it's not. The directorial uh, override is right there in the control room. Okay, thank you. How what's, do we get there? What's going on in there? That uh, doesn't look positive. No, it does not. At least they're not military trained, hopefully. Found one. Oh man, that's so cool. Come at me, bro. Oh, he he does not know you're even coming yet. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go, there you go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, that that is cool to, to, to but like <laughs> so long to pick up and throw something. Like, girl, get Make, it together. Makes you wonder how all those uh, superheroes do it, eh? What? The <laughs> or how they? Do, or even Cinema. how the or how Cinema the is how they do it. Cinema. Oh my God, Peyton. Who's <laughs> canon today? 
just very angry right now. <laughs> It's all good. I, I get it. I do get it. Did you notice that she hesitated to tell um, Pope the connection to whoever, Ellen? her brother, us? I think she is an entity herself, right? Yeah, I think she is too. That's why she's imperv impervious to the hiss. And I mean, yeah, this is totally normal. Um, <laughs> like. This, yeah, does she, does she know you can do this? I don't think so. The directorial override is right there, in the control room. I know, girl, I but look. We gotta deal with some idiots first. Give me a sec. You're, you're, See, like this guy. You're definitely right, though. She keeps talking, saying we. Yeah, it's like yeah. she. It feels like she's talking to us. I think you lost your barrel. I did. I want to crouch. Nice. Ouch. 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 Oh, grenade. Oh shit, and then did he just respawn also? I don't know. I just need more of them. Ritual impulse. Here. Jeez. Follow me and I'll hit you with the thing. <laughs> <Come here. laughs> okay. Are you sure that's not Tumnus talking right there? Oh, that, that was brutal. <laughs> Boy, you got hit the face with a crate, you fucking moron. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy. Did you just throw like, a fire hydrant at him? A fire hydrant, a fire extinguisher at him? Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, it's dandy. I don't know if that's the word I'd choose, but okay. Peyton, you're a monster. Oh, finally. No, 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 put that down. I gotta cleanse. Cleanse. Cleanse the body. Then babushkis. There we go. See, why can I do that? I don't why know. Why am I able to shift space and time? It's like the yeah. director taking over the direction again, you know, of the yeah. room or something. Well, I feel like the hiss is what killed the previous team, like the director and his team, right? Because it yep. seems to be targeting people from that new shit about the house. What if this is a product of the house trying to kill who's there? Uh, sorry, maintenance, janitor's office. What's that time clock thing on the... Let's see. Look at, this is so fucking TVA. Welcome to the Time Variance Authority. I'm Miss Minutes. I know, there's so much... That's such a TVA that's like, Look at that. Feeling. That looks like If you Ms. guys... Minutes. I won't... We we're not going to spoil the Loki TV show because it is still relatively new. But did look up the TVA... Time Variance Authority, and... What is that? It's oh. very similar to this game. Very similar. It, the aesthetic is almost identical. The some of the concepts are similar, too. Okay, I'm... Okay, okay. Give it a babushki. Come here, sir. Oh, there he goes. Boom! Nice. That's the best way to take these guys out, eh? With, uh... Yeah, just to just throw shit at them. It's the big boys that are harder. That what the is that a fuck? Bush? I have a meteor right now, y'all. Oh, man. Come here. I want to throw it at you. Come here. Where are you? I know you're here. Boy, you're going to get shocked. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pain's, giving, Pain's getting out some, uh, there we go. some work tension. <laughs> I'm seeing. It was a week, man. It was a week, man. It, hey, honestly, I love it. It, okay. I bet you feel powerful Thursday right now, though. Thursday was up and down because, like, Thursday in my, my day was awful. Um, but then, like, the afternoon got better. And that, but then, like, Friday was kind of also awful. So. Ow. That, that bad, eh? <laughs> Damn, this game's cool, though. He needs to put on his tits. 
No, I can't. I just can't. Oh, 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 just kill the guy behind so you. Where Just is he? Kill, he's right behind you. Where? Oh, I thought he was. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, get out of here. Oh. Okay. Ooh, that's by, uh, that's by pump lift, eh? That's a good way to die. Oh, I mean. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Just destroying everything around the box. <laughs> I got really mad. I noticed, man. I was getting a little scared over here. <laughs> I got really mad. Because I have, like, so much pent-up anger from the first few times we played this game. Now I'm having a good time. Now I'm just, like... I'm glad, bro. I'm glad. But, like, oof. Yeah, oof, we're... Oof, I, those first episodes. If there is a criticism that we have in this game, guys, it's... It, it's, it's just too hard It's for too hard. It it, for... It... Again, for any y'all out there that are really good shooters in games like this... Awesome. Kudos to you, but... Good for you. It's not what we are... No trying to go for you know and you know what though i'll give the game this it gave you a way to kind of bring the difficulty down so can't complain about that yeah i just so didn't fine. find the uh the initial settings well, to the, be it's just like when they when they hurt you you got hurt so hard that you didn't even have a chance to get back what there's some what is going on here um the picture seemed to represent dimensions, eh? Well done. Yeah. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, satana. It happened in the last drop. What? I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the Remember facts. Remember the dude the in Observer that works the front I'm desk in that? Yeah, he reminds me a lot of that guy. Found him <laughs> in another timeline. Bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps and the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant. Berkele. That's great. I got and things to do, though. Inside. Okay. He's starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to Pardon? be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear <laughs> like a part in Sahara. <laughs> Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. Oh, don't like a you fart. Worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. Please tell the me you wrote down these the clear instructions because I have no clue later. what the fuck you're then talking you about, done. buddy boy. Vacation. Right. Yes. I was gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at what all. You'll dimension is this dude this living in? It's gonna be last winter snow. Okay. You better go now. Thank you. So you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. What? The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Excuse me. Well, this guy is very peculiar. Here we go. And more, more ways than one. Yeah. I don't know how to digest that guy. Okay, so it is letting me go places now. Okay, that's good. That is good. 
know if I'm going the right places though. I don't know either, man. Just try stuff, I guess. Awesome. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my greasies! It's like okay, right so in front what of my face. Again if that thing blows up? We all. Oh, trench. Yeah. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Keep the lights on. So basically, make sure we don't blow up. Gotcha. gotcha. Why is it a problem to begin with? And <laughs> how does the concept of the power of the building work with all this weird dimensional stuff? Like, there's I a lot of layers that we gotta pe peel down here, you know? Don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I am just confused as to where I am in space and time currently. Mm. This has been a very interesting experience, I think, for this Let's Play, or uh, this playthrough. Yes. Just because I'm watching, I'm just intrigued. Ooh. I'm just, I'm just super intrigued, and I keep looking over, and you're just like, "What am I doing? I'm so lost. God, what? God, I hate this. Oh God!" And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, but there's some truth to that. It's like maybe the game isn't set up in a way that's, you know, got a good flow, I guess, to it. No, I'm just being a little bitch. I think. <laughs> I and mean, I'm just. But like if if that is your initial reaction every single time, there's a there's a sign there, right? Okay. Hold G to activate. What does that do? Is that it's just a side mission. Okay. NSC okay. power plant one. Okay. I am here. I has arrived. There's a lot of things to pick up and throw, which makes me nervous. Is that okay. Ooh. There's definitely a spookiness to this game, too. Yes. There's so much dread every time we play this. There's so Please much. Don't have people in here. Thank you. Oh, perfect. We got a little treasure chest. That's fine. The people don't mm, need that so much. Personal mod, energy recovery. You may want to do that. What is it? It's an energy recovery mod. Oh. You may want that. Health boost. Oops. There we go. Can you add any other mods? No? Only one mod at a time? Yeah. Okay. Materials. Weird. There we go. Start to recover some energy back. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing else in here, right? No, just more shit to throw, which continues to make me nervous. Yeah. Oh, some guys up there. Awesome. Come on with me. We're gonna go hit some bitches. Maybe we're not going to go hit some bitches. Can we hit the ground? Ventilation? I don't know. Do you want to go to ventilation? What I'm gonna go is... Maintenance. What, what, what are those? On your right. What? Forklift? No. Or pump cart, sorry. No, those. Those, what are those? Oh, they're all pump... They're all lifts. Okay. I, you know what I thought they were? Treadmills. I was like, what the hell are their treadmills here for? <laughs> <laughs> that's for, that's for their lunchtime fitness hour. You know. Sweat oh, into the oldies. Someone's checking out the uh, mess you made there. <laughs> oh, that's a good guy. He's in charge here. What? We have new people here. You're not crazy. Man, okay. hey. Chief Arish, FBC security. Can uh -huh. you be in a safe room? Uh, sir, I need to talk to you. They all have HRAs. Yeah. We're on the Thank same God. Side. Yeah. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. 
Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Let's skip the formalities, please. Like, right. we need to roll. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the cool. Look around, bro. It's a shit show everywhere. The NSC Let's keeps go. overheating. Snap, snap. <laughs> my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. Smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the his okay. was coming. That's Listen, why I love playing okay, 20 so questions as much as the next guy. He knew it was coming, but to get how? The and why? Systems repaired yeah. His baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling them? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss, this Salvador, just happened, there, eh? That we don't have an establish even name for them. I'm sure he will have one by now. Salvador was one of the names that sure, um, a lot of faith in his boss. the old director listed as being part of his team. Bet Can you anybody is the next boss. Yeah, probably. We're gonna so we're gonna fight probably all the old team and the, the old director is probably gonna be the big bad guy at the end. Eh? Yeah. That make the most sense. We're getting pretty close to the end of our time. I just want to see if this guy's got additional stuff we can learn. Go for it. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the Hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that hmm. is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? No, I doubt it. A really, man? Think what a little harder here. Irish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. Hmm. They say what they mean. I like that. Yeah, he's being a lot more forthcoming than uh What Emily. exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's so powering this thing? Yeah. Is this so? Is this power plant what's allowing the interdimensional shit to happen? I think it is. Because why would they say to them, don't ever, ever open it? Because you can open up a multiverse. That's what. Yeah, like, it, <laughs> what are they hiding? I don't know. There's, this is, there's a lot of weird secrets here. What do you know about the service weapon? <laughs> Not much. Thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. It's did the guns changed. Interesting. Is it they adapt? I think they adapt to the person that's using it. Yeah. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. My favorite coffee break, buddy. This has got some crazy stories. <laughs> oh my gosh. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. Why? Any idea? Oh, the janitors know everything, bro. You're right. Sweet. But like they're everywhere he's all from, the time. He's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? 
Interesting. Thank so you, you look the other way. Interesting. I should okay. Be going. Right. You gotta lock down the lift. But why would we lift the lockdown if the hiss is all over the place anyway? Like, so I we can actually get around? Have. Maybe? The clock back. Oh yeah, Maybe that's so. right. To get to the problem, that's the point. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Be so, so that's why it's a director override, right? Ooh, what is? Okay. And error security manners. And whoops, what's your read on this? <laughs> uh, energy conversion is well below the acceptable percentage. Internal pressure is climbing so fast, I'm amazed the NSC is still holding. When it blows, we're all going with it. Okay. Huh. Wanna call man? Yeah, so we'll stop there for the gameplay today. Yeah. I, I there was a lot of cool, interesting things that uh that transpired there. A lot of a lot of more questions I have. Every time we play this game, there's always so many more questions. I have more questions than answers for this game at the moment. The phone to me was huge because that is such a take from the Matrix. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Because that was a key connection between the worlds and a key, I'm gonna say crack in the wall of the control of the matrix. Yes. Right? Yep. It was remember the whole thing when he got out of the matrix, he connected to they all, all these machines connected to a phone and got him out that way. The phone is a big symbol in that those movies and it's interesting that's a big symbol here. It it just seems very like oh my god. Like a line to the other side essentially. Yeah, instead of this not being real, it's more just dimensional storytelling. That's really fascinating to me, but it is about the same things in those movies though, control, the concept of free will. Yeah. Kind of like a supernatural team free will, right? With Chuck kind of writing the story. Well, if my suspicion is correct, and the Federal Bureau of Control is really only there to make sure that this stuff doesn't leave and alarm the public, yeah. Then the reason why they're working so hard to contain the hiss is if that gets out, like that, that that's apocalypse world right there. Yeah, like that's people clearly would freak the fuck out. But that's what this place is, right? It's damage control on interdimensional shit happening. Yeah. And they use the old house, I guess this place, as a way to look into the dimensions to kind of tailor things. It's like a weird time variance thing, but more dimensional variance authority. Well, I was thinking more of like, remember in Doctor Strange, they talked about the different like planes. Oh, yeah. And there yeah. was like the mirror room and that was like where you practice shit because nothing can go wrong. That's what Astro this feels like. Well, the astral plane is pretty well that, eh? Yeah. That's what this feels like is like a contained area where they're just putting all this stuff. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. And studying it and figuring everything out. It's like a weird supernatural men of letters with like this weird mix of the Here's TVA a, aesthetic, you know? Well, because the TVA... With Matrix. The TVA and all this, this is very political. They're trying to show, the, you know, the corruption of the government hiding too much from the public all the time, yada, yada. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then what happens when they, that situation's a thing? Like, you know, what are the problems that can arise? I think that's what they're trying to explore. But there's so much more they're trying to explore than that. They're trying to explore, like... It's really weird. Like, the totems of how this place works is through departments like social institutional departments and they're using the social institution departments to kind of hide what's really going on it's really quite interesting that the janitor is like this almost religious holy guy you know what i mean because he moves between sectors these people are very yeah. rigid it's like you do your exact job description you get in you get out yeah but then you have the janitor who sees all knows all and then he's kind of like this wacky story guy if you're willing to listen to it or like believe him I like that idea you mentioned, though, of the janitor knows everything. Oh, my God, In any yeah. institution you go to, they'll just know 100%. the, the little bits of the building. They'll know everything. They know all the gossip. Yeah. They know everything that goes on in buildings. It's insane. Like, yeah. there's a lot of power there. I think that, like, they made that joke in, like, the Breakfast Club movie, if you watch it, right? Like, the janitor sees all, knows all. Yep, yep. It, it's just the reality. It's kind of funny. So, I wonder if we're going in a direction where we're going to discover what he knows and maybe he has something to do with starting this place mm -hmm. 
or something, or I don't, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's some darker secrets here. We're going to go through all the departments, I think, of this place. Yep. And we're going to learn stories about how they function to make this possibility and you know, give some backstory of the history and whatnot. And maybe even somewhere in there, we'll get Jess, Jesse and Dylan's story there. I think at the very end of this game, we're going to fight the director. I think we're going to fight him. And if we're going to realize that he, maybe he did something he wasn't supposed to. He was murdered, though. He was murdered, but maybe there was there's something greater here that they left behind. I don't know. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are enjoying the, the show, um, remember, hit the subscribe button. Just let us know um, that you want to keep seeing things and keeping up with us. The like button. If there is a game that you want us to analyze a little bit more and uh, and also play through, let us know in the comments below, okay? We would love to know. Uh, but either way, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. See you later.